Hi guys, Football Manager YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. We're back for another episode where we focus on the youth players that we've got in our Barnsley file. Today I will be focusing on Paul Digby, who's a centre midfielder. He's a player that's been with the club since a youth player, so he's came came through the youth ranks at Barnsley. I started playing Paul a few games this season, as you can see, he did did do quite well. But we're we're now up to February the first, and he's. He's not really managed to play too many games for us. So as you can see, I've loaned him out to Dundee United, who are playing in the Scottish Premier League. This will give Paul much needed game time. And I'm hoping with the game time, his value will also be increasing. And I'd also hope that his mental attributes will be increasing as well. I consider game time to be like the fuel, basically, to um, improve players and to help them help them progress so a player's never going to be learning how to play football if they're just sitting on the bench or hardly playing any games so for Paul I think it was the right decision to send him out on loan and for him to get some game time. I've highlighted Paul as a player that I want to be focusing on um, as you can see he's got he's only 18 years old at the moment um, he can play in the centre of midfield and I would be playing him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He does have the ability to play as a deep line playmaker or an advanced playmaker um, but as you can see his creativity is only eight at the moment um, and it's not something I'm going to look to train much further in Paul so I'm hope like I think his best position is going to be a box to box midfielder and um, I'll just highlight his attributes for that for that role um, as you can see to be a good box-to-box -box midfielder, you do need a lot of good attributes. But the, the most important ones that I'm really focusing on, on at the moment are his work rate, his passing ability, his anticipation, his determination, his decisions. Um, he's got good strength and his stamina will definitely improve, improve over time as well. So he does have a few attributes that are not great, like his dribbling and his finishing. Um, to be honest, I'm I'm not really that bothered about them them attributes at the moment. The way I see Paul playing is just someone who really, you know, gets himself about. He's got the good good work rate and his his stamina will improve upon. Um, at, at this moment, what I've done is just made a note that Paul's actually worth 230k. I'm as I mentioned earlier when sending him out online, I'd I'd hope he's going to get a lot of game time, and with that, I'd hope his value is going to increase. Um, when a player is is this young um, and he's got undoubted potential, Paul Digby. Um, one thing I was very excited to see actually that he's actually dubbed the new David Platt. So it certainly means he's got a lot of potential. This guy and his his idol is actually Xavi. So uh, even if he becomes half as good as him, I'd be more than happy. So. Paul's current ability, he's a good player for a League One sides and his potential ability could become a good Premier League central midfielder so he's definitely someone I want to be keeping around at the club um, I'm going to be focusing all my efforts on, on him as well just to just to guide him along as much as possible um, At the moment I would say obviously we know that the most important things for developing youth players are game time, getting them a decent personality one such as professional and also focusing on his training um, as well so with Paul obviously he's only got a balanced personality at the moment he's still got a lot of time to be able to um, develop his personality hopefully if I can get someone um, that's of a decent personality to train him and um, that's certainly something I'm going to look to get done for Paul and help him um, get his personality better so that he will want to improve at the moment you can see he's actually improving a lot um, just sort of random attributes at the moment but they're they're all it's all positive signs really he is improving a lot when Paul does come back to the club um, at the end of the summer I'll put him on a ball, uh, box to box midfielder training schedule just on average um, just for a little bit because I always find that when players go out on loan and they do play quite a few games when they do come back if you put them straight into your first team they're going to be improving a lot so if I just put him straight on that uh, training training schedule then that should really hope, hopefully help him improve a lot obviously once um, his attributes do start to go up quite a lot then I'm just going to focus on what I do want him to improve on so stamina 
is certainly going to be something that I'm going to be looking for him to improve on. Um, obviously his passing, probably his technique. Um, a lot of the other things, to be honest, I'm quite happy with, really. I think, obviously, his physicals, he, he certainly can improve, but strength 13's fine, natural fitness 14's fine. So stamina, I'd like to get up to about 13, 14, passing up to about 13, 14 as well, um, as well as his technique. If I could improve that as well, then, I've, you know, he's, he's certainly got the makings to be that good Premier League player that I think he can be, so... Yeah, uh, that's that's my plans for Paul Digby. Um, obviously, I'll be keeping you guys updated with his progression. Hopefully, he can do well on loan. And when he does come back from loan, yeah, he will be playing a lot of games for me next season. So keep your eyes peeled on this player and um, I'll be keeping you updated with the progression that I make with Paul and hopefully he'll be progressing in the meantime. I will cut this video here for now, guys. But if you could please press that like button and press that subscribe button, that would be that'd be great. And I'll see you next time.